Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News. Part three, yes, part three of what? Part three of how to enable multiple RDP sessions within your Windows 2008 and Windows 2012. Today's uh, video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it through local policies. Awesome, so what you guys wanna do is you wanna go to start, uh, actually not start, let's go back to desktop. I'm thinking about uh, 2012. Uh, you're gonna do a Windows R, and you want to do a gp edit.msc, hit enter. And once that loads up, uh, I'm going to make it bigger, expand it, uh, drag this so you guys can see a little better. Oh, come on. There we go. So, you guys want to go inside the computer configuration, right? Uh, administrative templates, Windows components, and inside there, there's a remote desktop services folder expand that and you want to go inside and expand this a little bit so you guys see what's in there there we go you want to do is the remote desktop session host expand that and there's a folder called connections awesome within the connections you want to locate the the uh, the local policy that says restrict remote desktop services users to a single remote desktop service session so you want to double click on that and once that loads up what you guys want to do is disable it now when you disable it if you disable this policy users are allowed to make unlimited simultaneous remote connections by using the remote desktop services that's what that's what you guys want to do you apply it okay and that's it you guys are good to go you're golden uh, that is how you enable multiple RDP sessions within server 2012 as well you could do the same local policy with 2008 okay uh, this is part three uh, leave comments below if you have any questions don't forget about hitting that like button and also stay tuned for part four which is the last of this little baby series of how to enable multiple RDP sessions and I catch you guys later peace out